Now, sports with Channel 3's Joe Tessitore. Mo Vaughn has agreed to the richest contract in the history of Major League Baseball. The numbers speak for themselves. Six years, $80 million. The team willing to pay the big bucks, the Anaheim Angels. Vaughn had a stellar year for the Red Sox, but rejected his home team's recent contract. Contract offers. So now Big Mo will play on the West Coast for Team Disney at a price tag of $13.3 million per year. He said, all I know is I'm going to try and bring a winning attitude to this club for $80 million. He could do more than try. He could go out and buy some attitude. So now with Mo long gone from Boston, the question was, would the Red Sox spend that money on Bernie Williams? They will not get a chance to. Bernie is staying in the Bronx. In a surprising move, the best team in baseball has retained their all-star center fielder for seven years at $87.5 million. Williams says that in the end, it came down to the fact that he wanted to be a Yankee. This leaves Boston with Albert Bell as the lone superstar left for the taking. Elsewhere in New York, St. John's Stanford, NIT semis. Ron Artest for St. John's, 14 seconds left. St. John's up by two, but Stanford would end up at the foul line for two. Arthur Lee nailed both foul shots, so it came down to this. St. John's one last chance, trailing by two. Artest to the hole. Can't get the shot off in the right direction, so Stanford, number two team, holds on 55 to 53. Syracuse early on against Indiana. Central is 3-0. They knock off Army today, 68 to 63. At noon on Saturday, Skip Holtz and his UConn Huskies will take to the gridiron against Hampton for the school's first ever NCAA playoff game. The rumor mill says Skip could be off to work with dear old dad at South Carolina, but he's truly just focused on the next few days. Here's how the Huskies will spend their turkey day. We're going to go have a Thanksgiving together as a team. We're going to sit down and eat together as a team. And then we're going to spend the day, we're going to go over to the Children's Hospital and spend some time. I know when I was an assistant coach at, uh, at Notre Dame, Coach Holtz took us to the Children's Hospital in Dallas. And uh, i tell you what, it's one of the most rewarding things you can do. Nice that the Huskies will be doing that. Of course, yeah. tomorrow we will have all the big high school rivalries right here for you starting at 6 o'clock. Yeah, Cheshire Southington. Yeah, Cheshire Southington, oh. all the big games. Big day. All right, thanks, Joe. In the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Back in a moment with Hilton send-off, but first, another Hilton memory. Sims Gray Arts Council, we're so grateful for all the time he spent with us. We will miss him. We, miss, we uh, bid Godspeed to both Alma and Hilton and the boys. Well, this is it. Hilton's yep. final goodbye here on Channel 3. After 24 years here, he's retiring to make a new home in Oklahoma. And we just wanted to say, let you know how we feel and what a special night this is for us. And Hilton, I'd just like to say you've been a dear friend and your uh, compassion for others is truly inspirational. I know I speak for all of us by saying that we are truly better for having worked with you. And, you know, for years of you giving forecasts, we figured out how many forecasts do you think you've given here? Uh, 22,000, <laughs> give or take 1,000. Something like Something. that. I have a forecast forecast for you right. and it's a long-range one and I see right. lots of happiness I see good health and I see exciting new adventures and I wish you all the best thank you good luck Hilton <laughs> I'm gonna you. pass the mic to Al you know I think it's entirely appropriate that we're talking and gathered here together on Thanksgiving Eve a time when we all sit back and count our blessings mm -hmm. and I know there's not a person out there watching who can't count you among their blessings all the times that you've been there not only making the quality of life uh, what it is in this area a lot better uh, because of all the things that you get yourself involved in you're more than just a weatherman you are a wonderful human being but all those times when you did give the weather one of the things that always impressed me is you were never an alarmist you weren't running around with the sky falling <laughs> as as some might have been tempted to do no matter how bad it got you were always there to reassure us and Thank tell you. us precisely what was going to happen and I, and we are truly honored to have counted you among our colleagues and among our friends thank, thank you friend you, thank you Appreciate you know, I, I joked around earlier about following you up on, the, on your last weather cast there, but it reminds me actually of my first day here because our uh, former boss had, had talked about you when I was interviewing about he's the legend right. of Connecticut oh, and he's gosh. Mr. Connecticut. <laughs> and sure enough, that first day here, I'm following up Hilton Catterley. And tonight I had that feeling again because that was, story, uh, that was truly historic what we saw there and everybody's going to remember this day and, and all the feedback you've been getting today. And I, I have to admit, I, I walked by you about an hour ago when you were in the office and and let everybody know he was getting phone calls all night and I overheard right. you say something to somebody. He said, you know, I just came to work every day and I did what I was supposed to do. 
I gave some good information, and I hope people liked it. And Hilton, that's Hilton. People that loved it. Vintage. People well, loved it, I and we're you, honored. You guys, you guys are the greatest. And I want to impose on the viewers for just a second to brag on my colleagues in front of the camera and the ones behind it. And uh, I have been generously supported by people from top management right on through every rank of uh, this station, every level. And you guys have been terrific. You've always been there for me. So I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And you've made us all look good. And to those of you at home, we've had a lot of calls. We've had a lot of letters. I've gotten a lot of personal expressions. They mean so much to me. I tried to do what I was paid to do and come to work and, and present a forecast for you. But I also, I want you to know very, very sincerely, I enjoyed every minute of my association with those of you here in Connecticut. And finally, I want to thank the leaders of Connecticut who generously gave of their time. I thank our U.S. Senators, and I thank our beloved governor and our mayor of Hartford, and I thank you for, uh, for uh, being part of uh, Hilton Catterley's life. And now I've got one final weather word. We've got to give the call a closing yeah, weather word. What is that? it? The weather word is Thanksgiving. Aww. Thanksgiving. Yes. Thank you. And Happy thank Thanksgiving. You, Happy Thanksgiving, Helen. Good luck to you. Thank you.